Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel, Barnon 11970 Thank you as always for checking out my video. I just want to show a point of the fact that some people worry too much about the actual prices because it's always easy to sit and watch all day as the ticker goes up and down and say, oh, you know, you missed the rock bottom price when no one, unless you're manipulating it, no one actually can f decide what's going to be absolute rock bottom. But, you know, you could sit there all day and look at the ticker going up and down and say, oh, look, it's going down or it's going up. See, you bought it at the wrong time. Well, you can't speculate that. I mean, it's, it's basically a guess. But I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. The silver I bought, which is about 30 cents higher than what is right now because the price went, well, actually, no, not even. It's about 20 cents lower than what I paid for it. Well, here's what I'm going to show you. My silver I bought at 50 cents over spot. Okay? Here is the cheapest for a silver eagle. 235 over spot. So here's the price even at the current dip, 1928. So when I bought my silver and I'll show you what I got, you may think and that's the that's the way they trick people cuz you think, "Oh, well I'm getting it at a cheaper price." Well, if you're paying higher spot, then you're not paying a cheaper price. They just make you think that because you don't add in the other factors. So let's look. And this is goldmart.com. Um, that's where I got my silver. So let's let's go through just the generic silver bars. Okay, here we go. One ounce Engelhart silver bar, three ninety nine over spot, which means at the current price, well, it doesn't matter because it's out of stock. You can't get it. All right, we have here ten ounce. Johnson Matthey silver bar, a dollar twenty nine over spot. So right there, you're paying eighteen dollars and twenty five cents per ounce, even though now it's around sixteen ninety five. Okay, you spent more than I did. All right, let's go further down. Let's see one of the bigger bars because, as you could see, a lot of stuff is already sold out. This one, if you want a generic silver bar, Golden State, a dollar nineteen over spot. Hold on, let's get rid of this stupid thing. So you're paying eighteen fourteen higher than what I paid. All right, here we go. Johnson Mathy, one ounce silver bar, a dollar fifteen over spot, eighteen ten. Even though the price went lower, I paid a cheaper price. Generic one, if you want to pay for a generic sunshine mint, seventy cents over spot, more than what I paid, seventeen sixty five. So. This is what people need to really understand. This is how they trick a lot of people. Because you think, oh, the price went lower, but then they do things like raise the spot prices, or they add more costs to the shipping fees. They've done that plenty of times. They always know how to manipulate people. So if you're always sitting there speculating, you're going to miss out sometimes on opportunities. And like I said, in the long run, if I spent $17.17 an ounce, and let's say it went down to 16 did I spend more? Yes. But if silver went up to 30, went up to 40, went up to 100, do you think I really care that I spent a dollar more an ounce or 50 cents more an ounce? That's what people need to really get out of their heads. So for those of you sending messages like, oh, it looks like you had bad timing or it looks like you, you're unlucky, no, it has nothing to do with that because I'm buying it for protection for the future. So, I mean, I guess it's something I'll have to repeatedly say because some people, they just focus on one particular aspect because I guess it makes them feel better. I, I don't understand that. So there were times, like two years ago, when silver hit down to 20, uh, no, it went down to 18 about a year and a half ago, and I bought a bunch of the silver quarters, the 90% junk silver. Well, it dropped another 25 to 30 cents, but they raised the spot prices. So people actually spent more for the same thing that I bought, even though the price technically went down. So, I mean, until people, you know, wrap their heads around that, they're always going to just look at what the price is. Because even at the spot price, and the current price right now is sixteen ninety four. okay, you're not buying it for that price. I hate to tell you that, because businesses need to make profit. So they are going to raise the spot price... And you're going to be paying above that price. How much depends on what you buy. So as you saw some of the examples, you could pay as high as $3 over spot for something. So what have you really saved? 
So, I mean, like I said, that, that you can only say it so many times. People will get it, some people won't. I'm not worried about the whole hitting the rock bottom, because unless you're part of the manipulation, it's all a matter of just taking a chance. But if you're buying it for the future, and you're buying it for protection, and the price ultimately will go up, and in my opinion, it will go up eventually, it's, it's, you're not worried about, oh, I, I spent an extra 50 cents, or I spent an extra $10, in the grand scheme of things, if you only make nine hundred and ninety dollar profit instead of a thousand, I don't really think you're going to kick yourself. So you know, if if people want to get that overly dramatic about the exact price, you know, you better make sure you're getting a deal of like I did of fifty cents over spot. Because if you're paying more than that, it doesn't matter if the price went down. Because if you're spending two ninety nine over spot, you're spending more money than I did. So you may have the satisfaction of saying you bought it at a cheaper asking price as they post here, but you're not spending less money. And that's what it ultimately comes down to. But even in the end, I'm talking about actually possessing the physical metals. If all of a sudden, a year from now, silver went down to $10 and nobody could get it, well, who cares what the price is? Just like I talked about at Hurricane Sandy, people were spending $500 for five gallons of gas. Why? Because they couldn't get it. But I bought it before Hurricane Sandy happened. And you know what? I was one of the few people on Long Island that never had to wait one single second for gas because I already had it. So you guys do what you want. I'm just showing you from my point of view because some people are so worried about thinking I've made some mistake. I don't understand it. Do what you feel is right and stop worrying about these little things because that's how they trick you. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.